Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are doing an awesome science unit based around Mario. If you love Mario and you also are curious about programming in Scratch, you should check out our YouTube channel. We have an amazing playlist on how to make a Mario video game in Scratch that will teach you so much about blocky programming. We also have some other really cool projects in this unit, so you should check it out. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and support us at patreon.com slash rosyresearch. So today we are making um, a little rubber band thrower that's going to be on our wrist because Mario always has those amazing little fireballs that he throws and they bounce and they do cool things and I thought it'd be fun, but we don't really have fireballs we can throw, but we do have rubber bands. So I have a box of little rubber bands. I got these at the dollar store. They're just like the little tiny hair rubber bands. And I'm actually thinking I might even use this box that I got at the dollar store. They're like 10 for a dollar. The dollar store is amazing. If you have things you want to build, make a building bin. I also have my building supplies. I've got um, a hole puncher, some scissors, got my hot glue, and I've got some popsicle sticks and um, cardboard just to see who knows what I'll need. So my goal is gonna be to make something that I can put on my wrist and I can like fling it. And I want it to have a box. I'm thinking I'm actually gonna use this box because I wanna have storage. I don't wanna have to like just have one rubber band and then go find it. And this is like, when I was looking at it, seems perfect for storage. But I don't wanna have to like worry about losing this lid. So, and if I don't have a lid, these are gonna just go all over as I'm running around having fun shooting things with my fireball thrower. So I'm gonna make a hinge on my lid first so that they can be connected. And a hinge just connects two parts and allows them to bend um, relative to each other. So I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna sort of flimsy up some cardboard from my recycling bin. And I'm going to, I think, just glue it. Now the question is, I think I want it to open, yeah, I think I want it to open sort of like this. And it'll like open away from me and I can grab one and reload it. So I'm gonna put it over here. And I'm just gonna glue this on to make myself a nice good hinge. And I'm gonna let it go all the way to the bottom and then also up so that it has just a lot to hold on to, so it's a little more sturdy. Sometimes we don't use enough glue or we don't give it enough sort of stuff to hold on to. So I'm gonna really work on this and make sure that it won't break as I'm running around playing with it. All right, so now I've got that part and I'm gonna bend it right here. I think I'm actually gonna even like put some glue right below that. I'm gonna bend it right there and then it's gonna come over and glue onto the lid, but I don't wanna glue on this part right here because I want them still to be able to open and close. So I'll give it a little bit of space and then I will glue right on the top right here, I think. And I'll get a nice amount of glue. You can never have too much hot glue. All right, and so as this dries, I should have this really nice hinge that can open and close the top of this. I have some really hot hot glue, but we can give it a test. So now these guys are attached together. You don't have to worry about them coming apart, which is really, really nice. You'll notice there's this nice little space that has no glue, and I kind of want that. And then I can close it. All right, fantastic. So this is gonna go, I'm thinking, on my hand like this. And I wanna be able to like fire it. So I'm gonna put something that I can lash my rubber band on on this side. So I'll just take a piece of popsicle stick and we'll just create like a little latch that'll be like sort of the front firing piece of this. There we go. Just cut that off a little bit nicer. Sometimes when you cut all the way through, it goes flying. All right, so I'm gonna put, this is gonna be my like little piece. I'll put the rubber band around here and so then it can fire out that direction away from me. So I just wanna make sure that I don't also ruin my hinge. But this is pretty good. It doesn't go all the way open, but I'm kind of okay with that. So I'm gonna put a bunch of glue here, just like that. And I'll just let this guy go like that. And now we've got a piece that our rubber band can really hold across. Just double check that I can still open. I can grab one of these. And we can, ooh, I have some glue on me. We can test it and see. So my plan is sort of do something like this. And that's gonna be great. 
especially when it's like attached to my wrist. All right, but I want a really cool trigger. I don't think I want to have to always hold it, but maybe holding it's cool. Like if you're okay with holding it and firing like that, I think that's pretty great. That's a great start. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more and maybe like a piece that can hold the two rubber bands but can also go move down. So I'm thinking to do that, I'll also use another one of these. So my rubber band would go between the two of them and then when this comes down, it sort of fires it. And we can test this idea. So let's get this closed. And so my idea right now is like I could have something like this and then if I have a way to move this down, it would come down. Ooh, it didn't fire as well, actually. Let's try again. Let's see. Ah, yeah, it fires. Maybe we don't want to trigger. Maybe we want to keep it simple. That's kind of like, this did a lot better, didn't it? Yeah, that went a lot farther. I'm gonna go for farther than sort of a cooler look. But it's still not done because I definitely need to wear this. I don't wanna have to like go around holding it. That's not this cool. So I'm going to create a bracelet. And I think I'm gonna do that out of this just cause it's a little bit longer. And I'm gonna cut along this line right here. So if you have a pre-made little box, this project's actually pretty quick and simple to put together. You can always make that box and build it out of cardboard and make it even more your own. Sort of up to you. I am loving that this box is white on the inside and I can color and decorate it however I want to. I'm gonna cut off this extra strip that's like a little bit thicker. It's where they glued it together. I don't think I want that. I'm just gonna cut that strip off. Now it's a little thinner. And I'm gonna do this on my other hand because I am right-handed. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I'm gonna take my watch off so that I can test this a little bit better with my normal hand. All right, so I've got this coming through like that. And we gotta figure out a good size for it. So maybe like right there is a good size. Let's cut it right here. Normally I say measure twice and cut once, but this works out really well. Just like that. Okay, I like that. And then this is like, this feels comfortable and I can just glue this here to the top. And then when it goes in, it'll be like that. So let's just glue this down. I use a lot of glue though. I don't wanna, don't want it to get broken at any point. That is some hot, hot glue. Goodness, all right. So I have this looking out, like this. Oop. My hand is not flexible enough. Oh, you know what? I need to give it a little bit more time for the hot glue. I see the hot glue coming off before I really test this out. One thing I'm thinking about is though, how am I gonna keep this on my wrist? I don't wanna have to use tape or anything there's a clever way that you can actually make like a little buckle with just two slits, which is pretty great. So we're gonna do that. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna find out where these guys come up at. And it's sort of nice, I have this bend right here. And so that can show me, I want this guy to hit the bend. So this is like really about the size I want, maybe slightly bigger. So what I can do is I can cut the top part of this one here, and just make a slip just halfway, not all the way. And then I can do it the opposite side on the bottom for my perspective right there. And then these two can go together just like, gotta get them just in the right spot, just like that. And now I have a little band, which is great. I made a band out of just two slits. That's so awesome. And I know that I can't get this on myself. You'll need help getting this on. I know I can't get that on my wrist with one hand. But if it were on my wrist, I would have this amazing thing. I can come in here, grab myself little rubber bands, stick it to the top, and oops, that one didn't go as well. But we know it goes really well. We've done it pretty amazing. Maybe it's just you gotta really hold it on your hand, I guess. Oh, it's not going as good. I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna take some time and figure out how I fire this the best way. And you know what? One answer really could be to make this a little bit smaller. 
I'll make it pointier actually even. I'm gonna make that pointy right now. And we'll see if that fixes it. I know that it works really well because we tried it out and it was doing great. And so sometimes you just gotta modify and build on what you have. So we can try this because maybe a point is a little better. Let's see. No, no, that was a little worse. Now I'm gonna have to go back and try again. But that's okay. Hopefully your guys' is working for you and we will think about some ways that we can modify. All of this stuff is always about modifying. I'm thinking maybe I'll go lower. I can rip this off and try lower also. That is our fun fireball project. Thank you so much for checking it out with us and we will see you for our other Mario building projects. Have a great one friends. Bye.